Hi guys, welcome. I'm back because you asked for it with one more truth. The historical truth, the greatest truth, the greatest truth of mankind. But today I'm going to share it totally from the Quran. In Quran, the birth of Jesus versus the birth of Muhammad. Many Muslims, they don't celebrate the birth of Muhammad and they celebrate the birth of Jesus, the Christmas. What is the reason behind? Because they know, they know somewhat about Quran. So today's topic is the birth of Jesus versus the birth of Muhammad. In Quran, the birth of Jesus is described and there are references, there are three main major references for that. Quran 19.19, Quran 19.33 and Quran 3.45. So, in Quran, the birth of Jesus is described. There are three major references for the Christmas. On the other hand, the reference for the birth of Muhammad in Quran, I'm going to give you the reference. Please write it down. The reference is zero chapter, zero chapter and zero verse. So two big zero. Zero chapter and zero verse is described for the birth of Muhammad in Quran. I'm sorry, but this is true. At least believe in Quran. Stop celebrating the birth of Muhammad and start celebrating the birth of Jesus Christmas. Number two, the birth of Jesus is described in Quran as pure, holy, faultless, sinless. And the reference is Quran 1919. On the other hand, the birth of Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, is described in Quran nowhere. Sorry, nowhere. Tie tie fish. No reference. But Muhammad in Quran 48.2 is described as unholy, faultful, sinful, unpure. Sorry, but this is true. So stop celebrating the birth of Muhammad and start celebrating the birth of Jesus. If you believe in Quran, if you respect Quran, if you at least believe 1% in Quran, if you have 1% sense, if you have 1% if you are one person reasonable person then stop celebrating the birth of Muhammad and start celebrating the birth of Jesus according to Quran so here is the next point the day of the birth of Jesus is described in Quran 1933 as the blessed one as the peaceful but the day of Muhammad in Quran if anyone knows please let me know also i wanted to know if anyone know the birth, the day of the birth of muhammad in quran and it's a whole life lifetime challenge lifetime challenge to all muslims till the son of allah sat in muddy pond till that time this challenge is continuous talent and please stop celebrating which is not described in Quran and start celebrating which is described in Quran here's the next point the birth of Jesus in Quran is not described as creation I'm repeating my point the birth of Jesus in Quran is not described as creation but as creator what is the reference quran 345 the word is becoming flesh 
references quran 345 creator is becoming flesh there is no reference this is my challenge to show me any reference from quran that jesus is described in quran as creation he is described in quran as creator and there are many references for that if the word of god is becoming flesh if the word from god is becoming flesh and that word has authority that word is jesus and if that word is creator in quran it means jesus is creator on the other hand the birth of muhammad is not even described as creation i'm sorry but this is true so stop celebrating what is not mentioned in quran and start celebrating christmas which is mentioned in quran my brothers and sisters the bottom line is if you believe in quran i'm talking about muslims at least believe in your present fabricated quran whatever the present quran is available please at least believe in it and start celebrating christmas the historical the greatest the biggest event the day the festival in history of mankind is christmas so a true merry christmas to all of you believe in it and start it now say someone says to somebody merry christmas so that you may at least come to that kingdom which is the biggest which is the greatest event the greatest festival the christmas god bless you all merry christmas